It has been a year and a half since I have uploaded a movie review on this channel, and so I decided to hell with it and talk about one of my favorite action franchises of all time, and that is Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible stars Tom Cruise, John Voight, Ving Rhames, and is directed by Brian De Palma. Mission Impossible is a recent discovery of mine, so as a result, I never really watched the original TV show, so the big plot twist at the end doesn't really affect me. I could see how it could piss off fans of the original TV show, but I never watched the original TV show, so this plot twist doesn't really affect me. The rest of this video will contain spoilers to Mission Impossible, so if you have not seen this film, I would highly suggest skipping to this annotation to hear my final spoiler-free thoughts. But if you've seen this film, or you just don't care about spoilers, then let's talk about Mission Impossible. Easily the most suspenseful scene in this film is the vault break-in scene. The lack of music really adds to the suspenseful atmosphere. The suspense in that scene was nail-biting. It really kept me on the edge of my seat. Since this film is more of a... Or, since the first Mission Impossible is more of a spy thriller rather than a balls-to-the-walls action film like the rest of the entries in this franchise, there really isn't that many sequences that make you question how the hell is Tom Cruise still alive, well, the only scene I can really think of is the final action set piece and maybe the vault break-in scene. But other than that, this film isn't really, doesn't really have the extreme stunt work that is shown in other entries of the franchise. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just, you know, pointing this out. Nonetheless, the stunt work in this film is still fantastic. Most of it is done by Tom Cruise, but... Again, who cares? Tom Cruise is a freaking legend when it comes to stunt work. Mission Impossible is not a film that gives you time to think about what is going on. The film requires 100% of your attention in order for you to understand what is happening. I actually respect this. Too many films nowadays let you check out, and then when the big action scene comes up, you're still able to understand what is going on. Mission Impossible is not one of these films. In fact, I had to watch this, this film multiple times just to write this review. Information just flies past you and it can be very, very hard to understand. So I guess this leads into the very few gripes I have with this film. The big plot twist at the end where it is revealed that Jim Phelps is behind the deaths of Ethan's crew, honestly, it felt forced. I liked the idea, but not the execution. His big evil plan just felt super forced and actually really hard to understand his motivation or how he managed to do his big plan. So, in simple terms, the villain is kind of weak in this film. Another gripe I have with this film is the film's use of the internet. It's clearly the most dated aspect to this film. I'm not even sure the writers or Brian De Palma knew how the internet worked at the time. Honestly, these are the only flaws with this film. They're not big enough to ruin the movie for me, but they're big enough for me to notice. The biggest praise I can give this film is the film's amazing cast. The show stealer is easily Ving Rhames as Luther Stickle. His character is such an entertaining presence to watch, and I know he's not your typical computer hacker type, but that's what makes him different and unique. The casting of Tom Cruise was a fantastic choice. He has the right amount of bravado and the right amount of vulnerability. Tom Cruise's best scene in this film is the restaurant scene and the exploding fish tank scene, which might actually be the most famous scene in this film, or that might be the vault scene, but I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. You can clearly see that his character, Ethan Hunt, is figuring everything out 
And Tom Cruise really plays this scene brilliantly. It adds an amount of suspense, and you're figuring out everything with him, which is also a fantastic choice by the writers. But overall, this scene really sets the tone for the rest of the film. And also, the use of Dutch angles really adds to the level of suspense in this scene. I also love how at the beginning, the film chooses not to follow Ethan Hunt, but rather Jim Phelps, who later turns out to be the antagonist. But it's almost like that Jim Phelps is going to be the protagonist in this film, but really that's not the case. But it's a great case of, mix of misdirection. I also love how this film ended where it began. Rather than seeing Jim Phelps at the end accepting his mission, you see Ethan Hunt accepting his mission. This is a great completion to his character arc in this film. This might be a little small tiny detail, but I love little small tiny details. This is a great way to start the Mission Impossible franchise. It might not be the best Mission Impossible sh film, but it's sure not the worst. And that is why Mission Impossible gets an A-. And that concludes my Mission Impossible review. Look forward to my review of Mission Impossible 2, which should come in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to ring that bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload.